Okay guys, let's make our own robot today. In this robotics tutorial, I'll be showing you how we can make our own very simple robot using Arduino. This is for beginners, so don't worry if this is your first time. By the end of this video, you will know what parts we need, how the motor makes the robot move, and how Arduino controls everything. And the best part is, if you already have these parts, you can build this in a few minutes. So let's get started. For this robot, we are using some very basic components. An Arduino board, Nano, Uno, or anyone is fine. A small breadboard, an L293D motor driver IC, a 9 volt battery, some jumper wires, and a robot chassis with two DC motors. And the good thing is for this robot, you can use any cheap two-wheeled robot kit you can get online. And guys, let me tell you something. We upload a lot of tutorials for beginners. So if you just started or if something is not clear, check out our older videos. Now let's see how exactly the robot moves. So this robot chassis that I am using has two drive wheels, one on each side. We have one more free moving wheel here, which is just for balancing. Each wheel is connected to its own DC motor. This way, these two motors spin decide how the robot moves. If both motors spin in the same direction, the robot goes forward. If both spin the other way, yes, as you expected, the robot goes backward. If only one motor runs and the other stops, the robot turns. Let's say, left motor on, right motor off, then the robot turns right. The right motor on, left motor off, then the robot turns left. If the two motors spin in opposite direction, the robot can turn almost in place. So with just two motors, we can go forward, backward, left and right. Now, these wheels are connected to DC motors. A DC motor has two wires. It turns one direction. If we swap it, it turns the other direction. By simply changing the polarity across the terminals, we can control the direction of rotation of DC motor. But our robot will be going back and forth and turning left and right all the time, no? And we don't want to touch the wires every time we need to change its direction. So we want Arduino to change the direction for us. So we need a circuit that can change the polarity across the terminals automatically. For that, we use a circuit called h -Bridge. For this robot, we'll be using an IC called L293D Motor Driver IC to change the direction of motor rotation. But just to give you an idea, this is how the h -Bridge motor driver work. This is a very simple circuit which is common in robotics. Let me explain to you. An h -Bridge is like four switches around a motor. Two switches act as complementary pairs to the other two. If we turn these two switches on, we can make the current go through the motor in one direction. By changing the switches, we can make it go the other way. So we get forward and reverse using only signals. Instead of building an S-Bridge ourselves, we'll be using an L293D motor driver IC. This chip already has two S-Bridge inside. That means we can control two DC motors perfect for our two wheel robots. This is the pinout of L293D motor driver IC. Each side controls one motor. And for one motor, there will be two pins that will be controlling the direction of rotation. And there is another pin called enable pin that will decide whether the motor should rotate or not. And the same for the other side. So in total, we'll be having three pins, one for enabling the edge bridge and two for controlling the direction of motor. And for two motors, we'll be having a total of six control pins, which will be controlled by an Arduino. And guys, here is the circuit diagram. And for the power, we will be using a 9 volt battery, which is connected to Arduino VIN pin. The Arduino converts this 9 volt to 5 volt using an inbuilt regulator. And we can connect this 5 volt to pin 16 of L293D that will enable the IC itself. And then the 9 volt battery will be also connected to pin 8 of L293D, which will be powering the motors. Then we have two enable pins. EN1 will be connected to Arduino D9 and EN2 will be connected to Arduino D10. Then for controlling the motor 1, we'll be using the pins Arduino D4 and D5. And for controlling motor 2, we'll be using pin D6 and D7. And then we will be connecting the L293D outputs to the two DC motors on the chassis. Now, all we need to do is program the Arduino board. Now, 
Before going forward, let me tell you something that might be really interesting for you if you are really into electronics and robotics. What if I tell you that you can start learning PCB designing and circuit drawing totally free from beginner level to advanced level? Yes, Altium has a free program for students called Altium Student Lab. If you have a school or university email, you can simply enroll and follow proper courses that teach you how real engineers design electronics. You learn step by step, you get guided lessons and at the end you can get a certificate that is actually recognized by the industry. So if you are studying electronics or want to get into hardware design, check the link in the description and join for free. Altium focuses on helping engineers, makers and teams design electronics in a way that is organized, shareable and ready for manufacturing. First, in the setup section, I am telling how to know which pins we are using to control the motor driver. Pin 4 and Pin 5 are for motor 1 and Pin 6 and Pin 7 are for motor 2 and Pin 9 and Pin 10 are the enable pins. So in the setup, I just set all of them as output pins. I also started the serial monitor and that is actually optional. After that, we have the loop. This is the part that runs again and again. So I made it to do a small demo. Go forward, stop, go back, stop, then turn left, stop and turn right and then stop again. The delay lines are just to keep each movement for small time so that we can see them all happening. Now, the main part is the movement function. I created separate function called forward, backward, left, right and stop. This makes the code easy to read and instead of writing pin logic again and again, we just call the functions. This is exactly what we are calling in the loop function. So in forward, I first enable both motors by setting pin 9 and 10 high. Then I set the direction pins so that both motors rotate in the same direction. Backward function is almost the same, but I swap the direction pin so both motors turn the opposite direction. For turning, I only run one motor and disable the other one. In left, I stop motor 1 and run motor 2 so that it will be turning left. In right, I turn motor 1 and stop motor 2 so that it will be turning right. Finally, in stop, I just disable both enable pins so both motors will be stopping. So that's it. The audio code is not doing anything complicated here. Once the code is complete, we can simply connect our Arduino board to the computer, compile and upload the code. Once the code is uploaded, simply unplug the USB, connect the battery and simply put it on the floor. Your first robot is ready. From here, you can upgrade it with ultrasonic sensor, line following or Bluetooth control. And of course, you will find all these tutorials in our channel. If you have any doubts, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. We'll see you in the next video.